Welcome little scientists, it's Miss Gisa. Guess what our story is about today. I'll give you a little hint. That's right, we're going to be learning about the ladybug. And today's story is called, Are You a Ladybug? Written by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphreys. Are you a ladybug? If you are, your parents look like this, and they eat aphids. When your mother lays her eggs, you are inside one of them. While you're in there, you will grow. When you have grown big enough, break out of the egg. You have a lot of brothers and sisters. If you look at them, you might think you have all made a big mistake. Not one of you is the same shape as a ladybug. Not one of you is the same color as a ladybug. Don't worry about this, just eat. Eat your own eggshell first, then eat aphids. Eat lots of aphids. They are easy to catch and they are very good for you. As you grow bigger, your skin will feel tight. This is not a problem. Soon it will split down the middle. Wriggle out of it and take it off. Then eat more aphids. As you grow, you must take off your skin again and again. Each time there is a new one underneath. Keep eating the aphids. One day you will feel very tired. Stop eating. Curl up like this. Take off your skin one more time. Now, Wait for your new skin to grow hard. When your hard skin splits, climb out of it one last time. Now you are the right shape, but you are not the right color. You are very, very pale. Just wait. Slowly, 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 your color grows stronger. Your black dots appear. Congratulations, you're a ladybug. You can fly. You are very hungry, so look for something to eat. Aphids will do nicely. However, if your parents look a little like this, or this, or this, you are not a ladybug. You are a human child. Your skin will not split as you grow. You can't fly. It is very unlikely that you are red with black dots. But you can do a lot of things that ladybugs can't do and you will never ever ever have to eat aphids. Did you know a female ladybug can eat around 70 aphids a day, but the smaller male ladybug only eats around 40 a day. There are more than 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs. They are not all red with black spots. Some are black with red spots, or yellow with black spots, or red with yellow and black spots. These are seven spot ladybugs, but you might see a two spot or a five spot or even a yellow and black 22 spot. Ladybugs are not dangerous to humans, but they can bite. Animals and birds won't eat ladybugs because they taste terrible. Now, let's go do an activity together. All right, let's make a little ladybug paperweight. What you'll need is a rock. Now I'm using a black rock, but you can use any color rock. If you choose a different color rock, just make sure you have some black paint. I'm using acrylic paint. You'll also need some red acrylic paint, um, a paintbrush, glue, googly eyes. And of course, you don't have to have googly eyes. You can always paint the eyes on or make them out of construction paper. And um, I am going to use these little stickers and again, you can just paint over the red with black dots, but I'm going to use these little stickers to make the um, spots 
I'm going to pull them off after I paint so that the black spots show up. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to start with the red paint. I'm just going to put it into here. You can use a little paper plate or um, if you have a little palette, just make sure that you protect your work surface with a piece of paper or newspaper underneath. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint all of this. This is going to be where the head is going to be. So I'm just going to draw a line there and paint the rest of this red. I'm using acrylic paint, but you can also use tempera or oil paints. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. Um, in the meantime, I can put on the little googly eyes and um, then I'll show you the next step. If you are going to use these little circle stickers after it dries, I'll show you what we're going to do. All right, we're going to let that dry for a second and I'll show you the next step. Okay. My paint is dry. I'm going to go ahead and lift these little stickers off. And voila, instant polka dots. So I'm going to do that for each of my stickers. I'm just going to peel the stickers off. You might need a little help with this from an adult. All right, and there you go. So if you choose the sticker route, um, my stickers really got stuck. So you kind of had to work to get them off. Um, or like I said, you can just paint right on top, paint the black dots right on top. Either way works. And the finished product is a little cute ladybug paperweight. If you enjoyed this read aloud and lesson, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future read alouds. See you next time.